Panin. Watcher. Sego. Tanse. Volale. Hola. Bienvenue. Welcome. Well, morning, Vishnu Cuts. My name is Ben Dodd. My mom is becoming a farmer, she is a genius. Nim. Chinenda, Minwa. My name is Ben Dodd. Missing big girl, Nim. My name is Ben Dodd. My name is My GST and HST name is Will Horn. <laughs> the name my mom calls me is um, Always Flying Little Bird. And it's the bird that is the messenger that I bring to you from the First People's National Party. The First People's National Party is about putting people first and honoring people. And those of you that are immigrant Canadians, if you haven't been told, welcome. From the First Peoples, we say welcome. And we've been saying that since contact. Welcome. Because as First Peoples, we share. That is the foundation that has made it possible for this country to exist. Is a culture that pre-existed, that still exists, that continues to want to share. The values that we learn from our elders are quite simple. We were taught by our elders to respect others is to accept them. And in accepting them, we participate in their way of seeing the world. Aboriginal people have done that to the colonizing cultures then and still today. Sadly, Aboriginal people are still waiting for that to be reciprocated. That is the role of the First People's National Party, is to recognize first and foremost, we need to put people first. All people. One of the reasons why this gathering is here is because there are people who are with voices being left out. The first, we have to realize Anything that happens to the environment will happen to Aboriginal people first. Like a barometer. If you want to know what's going to happen to you, it's already happened to Aboriginal people. The fastest health concern in Canada among adult Canadians is diabetes, which has been epidemic in Aboriginal communities since contact. The fastest health issue among youth in Canada is obesity which has been epidemic in Aboriginal communities since contact. If you're a minor in the north or out west, when foreign nationals are coming in and buying up the land and then firing and raping the land and sending the profits outside the country, now you know what it's like to be Aboriginal. The reality is more and more of you have come to see that your voice doesn't matter. And you don't like it, right? This is where we need to recognize that we're not alone with our voices being ignored. And that the First People's National Party is an all people's party. Any one of you could be a candidate for this party because this party represents the values of First Peoples. And our logo for the party is that of the Medicine Wheel. Who does not know what the Medicine Wheel is? That's the failure of our educational system. This is a symbol in Native American culture that predates Christ. It's a symbol that speaks of all the colors of mankind coming together. It's also a symbol of the seasons and the stages of life, but more importantly, this was a prophecy thousands of years old that said the world's human DNA will come to live here on Turtle Island. These are our teachings from our ancestors that we bring to the party to say that every one of these cultures has a voice and must need to be listened to equally. Equally. But Aboriginal people don't have a say in this country. The Assembly of First Nations is merely a lobby group, if that, with very little to no political power. And did you know that Canada as a country is the only country in the world with an 
archive system. Who didn't know that? So if I were to test it later, I'd you know, get some good answers. It's called the Indian Act. And I, as a status Aboriginal person, have two separate sets of laws to live under. While the rest of Canada, including immigrant Canadians, live under one set of laws. The inequality that is our reality, that is the foundation of this country, is simple. The mandate is for sustainability. And I can list a whole bunch of the things that we'd like to do, but two main ones. To implement, and we invite all these other parties to support this, even though it's a provincial reality, education, compulsory, Native Studies course before you graduate high school and university. Anything short of that is continued colonialism leading towards genocide. When Aboriginal children grow up not being able to speak their ancestral language is just that. And the second, abolish the Senate and replace it with the morally justified right to have the First Nations House, equal to that of the House of Commons. Aboriginals voted by Aboriginals to represent Aboriginals equal to the others. Crown land is Aboriginal land. Aboriginal people want to share. Thank you very much. <laughs>